Hey guys, how's it going? This is Pocket back with another tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Windows 10 on your Mac. Ah, there you go. This tutorial is designed for Mac users who have an old Mac which Windows 10 is not supported on their device by bootcamp. But not anymore after this tutorial. So get your popcorn and let's get started. Apple is keep making the ability to install Windows 10 on your machine harder and harder year by year. I've tried so many methods to do it, including typing some commands on terminal to burn the Windows 10 ISO file onto my USB stick by using the disqtl command and my computer didn't recognize it on the boot menu. Next, I tried formatting my USB stick onto XFAT format and making it boot master and then copying all the contents from my Windows 10 ISO file onto my USB stick and my computer simply didn't want to boot from my USB stick. So my last option was to think about what could I do with boot camera you know, to make it to support my model and I figured out a way where there is a very high chance that it's going to work on you as well. For this method you're gonna need three things a Windows 10 ISO file, a USB stick which has at least of 80 gigabytes of space and of course a Mac computer. You can download a free copy of Windows 10 from the link down in the description. Once you're ready, let's get started. So all you need to do is to go on Finder, and then go to Applications, Utilities, then go to Bootcamp Assistant, right click and then click on Store Package Contents, click on Contents, and then we need this info.list file. But by default, I don't have the permission to change or manipulate any of these files in this folder. So what you need to do is to simply go back one step back and then right click on the folder and click on get info scroll down until you see the sharing and permissions and make sure that everyone is able to read and write on this folder by clicking on this lock typing the password and then change it to from read only to read and write if this gives you an error then that means that you have system integrity protection on system integrity protection is used to prevent you from accessing files which are not made by you or you don't have the permission to, to alter. So we need to disable that. In order to do that, we need to enter system recovery mode. So go on the app logo and click on restart. And right after you hear the beep, hold down command and R in order to enter recovery mode. Once you read at this screen, then navigate to utilities and then go to terminal. On terminal, type csutil disable. This is going to disable system integrity protection. After you're done, simply go ahead and reboot your Mac again. Great, now you're able to change the permission of these files. So go back to the contents folder as I showed you earlier, go on get info, and then go again on sharing and permissions, and then make sure everyone is able to read and write this folder. Now this should work. Then let's go back to contents folder, and on info.list, click on get info, right click and then get info, scroll down until you see the sharing and permission tab, unlock it and make sure that everyone is able to read and write this file. Before manipulating this file I will recommend you to create a duplicate of this file for security purposes because if you manipulate this file into a weird way then you may prevent bootcamp from working. Then move this file to a safe area I'm going to move it on my desktop and then go to info.list then right click and click open with text edit. If it's not here then click on other and then you can find it from this menu here. As you can see, this is written in XML. XML is a language which allows you to store information. In this case, Bootcamp stores information on which machine is compatible with Windows 10, which for Windows 7, and which for Windows 8. What you want to do is to scroll down on where it says Key Supported Non-Win 10 Models. And we need to manipulate that. Now go to your browser in order to identify your, your Mac computer model. If you go to the Mac logo about this Mac, then here it tells you which model you have, but this is not enough. So what you need to do is to simply type your computer name, Mac Mini, and then Model Identifier. And you should click on the first link. Then scroll down, and based on this information, my case is mid-2011, I need to go here where it says Mac Mini mid-2011. So I could have either of those. And what you need to know is this and this. So you need to know the model identifier of those two. Then go back 
and find those in here. And as you can see, my model is right here, is one of those two. So this is why Bootcamp doesn't support my computer because it's listed in this list. So what you need to do is to simply remove them and then save this file and exit it. And then after that, close the file, go back to applications and then go to utilities and then go to Bootcamp Assistant, go continue. And now here should say create a Windows 10 or later version install disk. If this option is missing, then check out the video that I have down in the description to get it back. Next, select create a Windows 7 or later version install disk and this one as well. Download the latest Windows support software from Apple and click on continue. Then you need to download the Windows 10 ISO image. After that, you should have the Windows 10 ISO file from your download folder. So take it and then drag it in here. Click on open and make sure that this is the correct destination you would like to burn Windows 10 into. Also, all the data from your USB stick will be removed, so make sure to back up all of the data from there. Once you're ready, click on continue. So right now is a good time to relax, go for jogging or take a coffee until this process has been finished. It will take some time to be done. And once you boot computer, make sure to hold down the option key right next to the command key in order to enter the boot menu. For the boot menu, go ahead and select EFI boot. What's more notice I need to mention is that this is not the computer I normally use. This is an older model in 2009. And the reason why I'm using this model is because my desktop computer is falling apart. My hard drive, it doesn't work properly, suddenly, and I couldn't install Windows 10 on it. So I need to take some serious steps in order to fix it and then to carry on doing stuff in there. The procedure I'm gonna follow by using this model is going to be the exact same I would follow on my desktop computer. So there are no worries. This model is even older, so it's a good thing because I'm gonna show that it works on all the models as well. Okay, so now we're on the setup screen. At this point, make sure to select the correct language that you want, the time and the format of the keyboard. Once you're ready, click on next. And now it's a good time to insert your product key. If you don't have one or you don't have one yet, then make sure to click on I don't have a product key, and then you can insert it later on. I'm gonna select Windows 10 Home operating system. You can choose Pro or Education depending on what purpose you want to use Windows 10. Make sure to accept the license terms. Make sure to read it before you accept it though. And now finally we are on the Windows setup step. So go and select the partition you just created and then click on next. Make sure to not select a wrong partition otherwise you may ruin your data that you have on this partition and bad things will happen so make sure not do that. And also something else I've been reading through online is that if you get an error saying we can't install or locate this partition, a message like that, then I will suggest you to download a program called Paragon NTFS. I have a link down in the description. It's a program which allows you to format your hard disk into NTFS. Now, the format is is a bit different compared to Windows NT file system. I'm not really sure why, but it's quite different. So make sure to download the software and reformat the, the partition that I just created and then try to install Windows 10 again. Also try to remove any external devices that are connected to your computer. So this perhaps could interfere the installation process for Windows 10. So make sure to remove those while running the installation process. Another error that you could account is that an error saying that the partition table of your hard disk is MBP master boot record. Now, Windows 10 doesn't want that. It wants your hard drive to be as GPT, which stands for GUID Partition Table. So if you see this error, then, then go ahead down in the description. I have a video on that, how to solve this error. And after that, you should be able to install Windows 10 on your machine. So this is going to take some time to install. So I'll be back as soon as this installation process is done. Okay, so the installation is done. Now my computer just rebooted, so when it reboots, then make sure to hold down the Alt key in order to enter again the boot menu. At this point, as you can see, it has another partition saying EFI boot, so make sure to select that in this case. All right, so now the process is very simple. You have to follow all the steps like adding your Wi-Fi password and some other questions that it's going to ask you, including your data usage or location, all this stuff. So make sure to follow these instructions and act accordingly. All right, so Windows 10 is finally ready. Actually not yet, because we still have to install all the drivers. Uh, what is this message? Uh, okay, whatever. 
Okay, so we don't really need to care about this uh, because we can install the drivers manually. Uh, let's actually navigate on this computer. SPC actually, yeah, that's one. That's one. I'm gonna go to my USB stick and then I'm just gonna go to bootcamp. Uh, this may not work actually, I'm not really sure. I'm gonna try to see if it was gonna work. Yeah, it doesn't work, I was right. Right, so let's go on drivers instead. So let's do it manually. So first of all, we're gonna install the speakers first. So we're gonna go to, I think it's Sirius or something. Yeah, there you go, that's the one. Okay, I'm gonna install both of these. I'm gonna install the other one as well. Then I'm gonna go back to Apple, and then uh, actually install my uh, trackpad because my trackpad is so unresponsive on the state that it's currently at. Finish. And then SD card reader, this is something that is really important. You most likely going to use it. All right, so the model I'm using it has an NVIDIA card, so I'm gonna click on NVIDIA instead. I'm gonna go in video graphics, then I'm gonna click on setup. So I'm gonna set up. Alright, so now pretty much we have done installing Windows. We have installed all the important drivers on Windows 10. So now it's up to you whether you want to continue carrying on installing more drivers on from that folder in order to make Windows 10 more accessible and better. Okay, so that pretty much the, the tutorial. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you do this video. Feel free to hit the like button if you like this video. But drop a comment, let me know whether you're going to install Windows 10 if you haven't done or whether you experience any issues, so let me down there. Share this video to your friends and if you're a new visitor, don't forget to hit the subscribe button in order to see our latest contents. Thanks for watching and as always, I'm going to see you to my next video.